So let's just say that drivers are Doctor Evil. Well, that would make these mini-me's. That did sound much better on paper, I'm not gonna lie. Oh well, we've done it now. Before this video, these clubs were siblings, they were friends. But now, today, they're arch enemies. And unfortunately, that's made everyone in here also very angry for no reason whatsoever. What? Oh yeah, you like that view, dear. What about now? <laughs> Gotta reset them all now. Seems like a great idea at the time. I'm excited about this video because it's gonna include some mahoosive bombs for some quite confusing head sizes. The poor old CC on these clubs aren't accepted by drivers or fairways really, they are in their own category. Hence why we have the mini driver. One thing we can answer though is, which is the best mini driver in this head to head? Which only means one thing. Oh, I love this part. It's time for toe to toe, let's go. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. Oh man. This is gonna be epic. We've had to distance these two because if they get any closer, they're gonna start speed pocketing each other. And that's not, that's not a good thing, I tell you. Both of these are based off iconic tailor-made products. The original one and the 300 series. We're not gonna go crazy in the tech here because we've already done the single reviews. I'll put them up in the corner somewhere. You can watch them if you want more details on these particular products. This is just a straight head-to-head -head between the original mini driver and of course the 300 mini driver which has just been released i've got to say as the father of retro reviews i've been loving the running theme with the mini drivers of the throwback designs i have so let's get straight into it with looks and you're a part of this as much as i am so comment down below which one you prefer so i have done a king henry the eighth and we have only got the heads so i'm going to be using one shaft to make this a very fair test same loft same shaft visually I do think there's a little bit more about the 300 Mini Driver, if I'm honest, from a visual standpoint. I do like the blacked out look with the original one. 300 Mini, there we go, let's get rolling. So sound, I've hit a few shots with each driver. You don't know which one's which, we've got A and we've got B. A. B. A. B. Not an easy one. Obviously, these are all, all these categories fall under personal preference and personal performance. So this doesn't make one better than the other. <laughs> Backtracking. <laughs> I would say that the original one sounds and actually feels more solid out the center. I think that's maybe because it's more of a compact head size. The 300 mini though, consistently around the face is giving a great sound and feel. Where the original one, I feel like it's yeah, a, a lot of a lot gets affected if you don't quite get the center. Where the 300 mini feels definitely more stable in that regard. So overall sound, I'd, I'd have to give it 300 mini, um, I think. So as I said earlier, we've already done the tech spiel on these clubs, but what are the differences and similarities in the tech of these two clubs quickly? So the big note, if you wanted to purchase these and try these, are the head capacities. The original one is noticeably smaller, sitting at 275 cc's, compared to the 300 mini, which sits at 307 seven cc's. You'll get that if you've seen the video, if not, dis disregard. So to make this test as fair as humanly possible, we're going to have to have the same specs, the same conditions. So both of these heads are 11 and a half. Thanks to this adjustable hosel, we've got the same shaft that we can flick in and out, which is the Diamana F65 Limited Stiff. Shaft that I really have got on with um, in a mini driver, not being as stiff. So I thought it would only make sense to use this one, really. So then, two heads, one shaft. Are you ready? Let's go. I think we might stop it there. 
Wow. I found the two in a second. Yeah, best part of 300 on the fly. 317 start. So I'm not trying to smash these, my arm is extremely sore. This is just a, if I was going to play now, this is the swing I'd put, put out on the course. <laughs> Talk. I say it felt a bit more lefty, Terry. Your fault, that. Still angry from the beginning of the video. Hang on there. I didn't take that one there, did I? That looks so bad from this point of view. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Left, big bounce. Ooh, Terry. There's always that one n that does it. <laughs> Just a line ball to finish. Okay. Well, that's the OG. What a golf club. A few shots that I really didn't do it any favours, but uh, they're going to be removed so we get a decent average. Now it's time for the 300 mini. Let's go. Okay, cubic centimetre advantage, let's see what you've got. It feels immediately more powerful. That felt as toey as those. Um, but it didn't seem to be going as far left. That was the initial reaction to that. It felt a bit more solid. Uh, very different but it's gonna work low off the face that's the first one I've really hit well with this it's a treat when you middle it I tell you that for sure apparently Heard it hit somewhere. Oh, it's been awesome, guys. I've enjoyed this. Two shots left. If you're not a part of Team Al, remember to hit the uh, subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board. Follow us on social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I'm live streaming on Twitch. Multitasking now. <laughs> not very well based on that last shot. Right, last one. Oh, a decent one to finish. Okay, so trajectory. And I'll be honest with you, this tells a story in itself. We've got here, um, obviously the red is the original one, the blue is the 300 mini. Um, I could have kept in more of the 300 minis than I could the original ones. Those bad shots were terrible. So hence I've removed them for a better average and kept the same number for each club to get a really decent average. In saying that, the ones I hit really well with the original one did go further. I told you I felt a little bit more solid out the centre when I hit the centre, but when I didn't, I found the original one to be, you know, cause, cause a bit of problems, I think. But based on ball speed, consistency across the board with the 300 mini, I mean, that was multiple different strikes across the face, all 170, which is unreal. 
Um, that wasn't the case with the original ones <laughs> that were being removed, but ball speeds we got up to 173, so the ones I did hit out of the centre with the original ones, like I say, went miles. Launch, again, very much very similar. Both same static lofts, could be slight adjustments in dynamic as we go through the ball, but 13.5 mini, 300, 14.1 with the original one. So a little bit more launch. Spin, nothing to split, both 3,400. So the original one mini, 283 carry, 299 total. Average to the 300 mini, 279 to 290. So based on those, and what I would take from my numbers there, are if you're struggling with the original one, you wanna find more fairways, 100% take a look at the 300 mini. Take a look at it anyway, it's a fantastic golf club. If you're consistently hitting the original one out the center, I'm not 100% sure you're gonna find much more distance with the 300 mini, if I'm being completely honest based on my numbers there. So obviously I'm not a robot and that was, and that was a pretty poor strike display. You can't take too much from it, but if numbers wasn't an issue, I straight away felt more comfortable with the 300 mini and that's something I need like again, it's preference. I need to find more fairways. I'm not sure about bombing it. I've got my driver for that. It's finding fairways and I definitely did that more with the 300 Mini. So, so that's a toe-to-toe -to -toe win for the new 300 Mini. Um, and that doesn't particularly surprise me. I know the original one is the OG in regards. It's been extremely popular, but I do feel that we're gonna see a lot of these 300 Minis now in staffers golf bags if they can find a place for it that's the most important thing they're not just going to game it for the sake of it if it's overlapping with something else there's no point you can hit it longer with your driver you probably hit it more accurate still with your fairway wood but if you need that in betweener you can't look any further really thanks as always guys for your support i've already said the subscribe business but uh, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification thanks as always cheers